It seems like we're all searching for that magic pill. That pill you pop and you get your health where you want it to be. Where you need it to be for your business to thrive, for your relationships to thrive, for your sex life to just be amazing and for your whole life to be great. There is one such pill, but unfortunately we have to take a dose of it every single day, multiple times. It's called consistency. And as we get older, it gets easier to use age as an excuse. As soon as you hit 30, your testosterone levels start to drop down every single year by about 1% if you're still doing everything to keep them in check, which most of us actually aren't, especially in this business world, especially in the world of hustle that we live in, especially when we're trying to be successful in the field we've chosen. And then you get to 40. You can still get a six pack over 40. None of this, oh I wasn't meant to have a six pack, I've tried hard and hard. You can still get a six pack over 40. Even if you're doing 50, 60, 70 hour weeks, you can still get a six pack over 40. Even if you're the busiest entrepreneur, even if you are the busiest business person that you know, you can still get a six pack over 40 with a bit of consistency and also following these six tips that are going to help you with your nutrition because that is going to be key yes doing the exercise yes doing the training going to the gym can really help you with it but nothing will help unless you get your nutrition on point and when i say on point i mean about 65 70 percent good that is gonna surprise a lot of people. The first thing you can do is you can lower, you can lower the processed food and the refined foods you have in your diet. That is gonna mean that you're gonna get more nutrition in there, more nutrients, more minerals, more vitamins, all in your body, allowing the body to feel good, allowing the digestion to work better, allowing the energy to be processed better, allowing your focus to be better, and just allowing you to feel good throughout the day. The second thing is eat regularly. It's not to say you eat small and often is going to boost your metabolism and fire up the furnace to get the fat loss burning. No. Just eating regularly allows you to keep your protein levels higher. It allows you to feel less stuffed because a lot of us feel a bit sluggish when we eat such big meals. And some people go down this fad route of intermittent fasting, of going keto, of doing what all the other entrepreneurs seem to say they are doing, but it doesn't necessarily work for them. It's not sustainable for them. But taking some snacks in, taking some good food in, and enjoying your life but eating small and often is gonna really help you if that's what works for you. The third thing is get a base level of protein in there. Don't just go high carb, don't just go high fat. Get protein as a base because protein is going to help you feel satiated for a lot longer. It's going to help you feel fuller. It's also going to help your muscles repair from the exercise you're doing. It's not rocket science really. The fourth thing is to stay hydrated. In this busy world, it is easy to forget to have some water with you all throughout the day. But remember, food you eat is going to have hydration in it. Even the coffees are going to help you be hydrated. Despite what people say of caffeine being a diuretic, there's very minimal caffeine in comparison to the ratio of water in a cup of coffee. So that's going to help you stay hydrated. Vegetables. Even just having things like Diet Coke is going to have some sort of fluid in there which is going to help you stay hydrated. Not as much as water, not as many minerals or electrolytes as the water, but it's still going to help you stay hydrated. Your body is about 60-70% water. That means your brain is going to function better when you're hydrated. You're going to get less headaches. You're going to get less fatigue, less brain fog, just by staying hydrated. As a result, your body is going to be able to work more effectively and burn fat easier because you're hydrated. The fifth one 
is tracking your food. If you're not tracking your food, how do you know what you need to change? The thing I get clients to do first off is to track their food. The reason being, once we get mindful of our eating, once there's another step before we put that food in our mouth, we start realizing what we're eating. Before I even look at calories, before I even look at the types of food, tracking the food is key to starting to get results and to start to allow your body, no matter what your age, to burn fat effectively. And the sixth thing, the biggest thing here, the most important thing is don't deprive yourself. These diets where you go very, very minimal on certain foods probably end up in you binging out because you're so tired, so fatigued, that your willpower goes down. So you end up saying, screw it. I'm going to just binge out on this food, binge out on that food. And before you know it, you've down seven, eight, nine thousand calories and completely gone over your average calories for the week. So there we have it. Lower your processed food. Eat regularly, eat a base level of protein, stay hydrated, track your food, and don't deprive yourself. Life is there to be lived. Life is there to be enjoyed. If you need help to take that decision fatigue out and get something sorted for you, then do, get in touch. But follow these six things, and I guarantee, regardless if you're over 30, over 40, over 50, you're going to be much closer to getting a six-pack than you were before. Thanks for watching.